Welcome to Wickerson Studios. It's been a month since I started some video tutorials and I worked my way out of Tinkercad, an online uh, CAD and, uh, coding program, Tinkercode Online, and moved into Grasshopper. I think I went extremely fast to cover things I was excited about and at this point I believe a very simple introductory Grasshopper for Rhino ABC123 is in order. My hope is that uh, the other videos you may find interesting and, and exploratory and you may be curious and um, have some fun just dodging through those, uh, get to know me a little bit online. But this course is going to be a little drier, it'll be about five minute sessions, and what I wanted to do was walk through basically the Rhino window, which is on the left, Grasshopper window, which is on the right, and I've prepared a few things, extremely introductory, and uh, I will go uh, hard into that after I get this little introduction done. Um, so keep in mind that you're going to have to be responsible for uh, downloading, going to rhino3d.com and going into download and finding out the version for Rhino for a three month uh, session and it's under 200 to buy but you can have it for three months as a uh, test license and you've got to go in there and find out which version you want, go for the latest version 6, uh, 7 if it comes out for Windows. Uh, you're also going to want to go and learn as much as you can about food for Rhino which is the grasshopper um, the apps for Rhino and Grasshopper, which go along uh, with uh, extensions on everything you can do in Grasshopper window. Um, something to keep your mind on, I would suggest going into that file, clicking on apps, and taking a time to run down this little side category, and uh, finding out if there's any particular points of interest that you would want to learn modeling and algorithmic modeling or computational work um, or dynamic design, uh, and any points of interest you have. A lot of free apps, uh, we'll get into that in time. Uh, I myself have my own website. It's a YouTube channel under my name, Michael Wickerson. You can go through that and see in the playlists uh, a variety of how I move through a very simple a Tinkercad program, some of the people that inspired me to do work and flow into some introductory um, and more complex than uh, intermediate and then some advanced uh, uh, tutorials. Uh, they're very short. They're not really so much tutorials as information sessions. Uh, there's quite a few videos on there. I leave that up to you. And for somebody that wants to really learn this program, I would sit and, and take a serious mind to uh, go in the Mode Labs, uh, check out their playlist, check out their video list right from the start in about 2012 and what they did up to about 2015. Absolutely incredible. Uh, it'll be the basis of where I go deeper later on. Uh, I've learned from so many different sites, but Mode Labs has really just reignited this underneath me. So that thing said, uh, that said, we could jump into Grasshopper for Rhino. We're at about a uh, three minute mark. And what I want to do is just do a little setup for you uh, to show you how things go. And I think I have uh, my uh, uh, contact information underneath this, which I'll bring up afterwards, probably bring it up now. Um, in a sense, I'm going to move my Grasshopper window over. And you can see here that it's basically Grasshopper for Rhino 3D. All the contacts I have, my websites, uh, my YouTube channel, my GitHub, where I keep all my files, my Facebook, my LinkedIn, uh, if you want to dig up some information on me. As for uh, Rhino, I want you to get in the habit of uh, basically uh, taking a look at this, and I'm, I'm curious why I've lost two of my screens, <laughs> a little glitch uh, in here, which is very interesting. I'm not sure where, yeah, I'm not sure where all my, uh, my viewports went. Uh, I'm going to pull this out and have it in a position of where I actually like it to teach it. Uh, and I'll tell you very specifically about what I do in Rhino. I'm not going to teach Rhino, but I am going to uh, do Grasshopper alongside it. Uh, standard uh, viewports, uh, viewport layouts. Let's go to a four screen again. There we go. Um, I think uh, I'll do my first session uh, after this little brief introduction. I'm going to go into why I set the viewport uh, and how I set Rhino the way I do. So thanks for watching, and we'll take a look at the second video on Rhino, uh, Grasshopper for Rhino ABC 123.